This is the Hewitt Packard Desk Rider printer. Um, this was the very first um, HP inkjet printer released for um, the Macintosh. Um, this is essentially the Macintosh version of it's either the original HP DeskJet or the DeskJet Plus. Um, for those of you who are well versed in these old printers, you'll notice the dip switches are missing and the control panel is greatly simplified. This just cleans the print cartridges prime, error, power ready. This kind of acts like the resume button on the newer desk jets. Um, there's the power switch, which I'm going to turn it on now. And actually, it might make more sense if I open the lid. This printer does not have a lid switch. Nor does it doesn't even have a cartridge sensor. So if you take the cartridge out and hit print, it'll still go through all its motions of printing. You can even remove this if you wanted to. So the first thing I'm going to do, so here's what it does. First, it when I first turn it on, it first tries to move the cartridge all the way to the right because there is no encoder strip. Um, instead, the the motor, the carriage motor, has its own encoder wheel. As you can see right behind there, the ink leaked out at some point. Now I'm going to turn it on again one more time. Um, what you have to do is hold the select button when you turn it on. So let me set this down for a second. Now it's going to print a test page here. Coming right up. And what this shows is, if you look closely, I really don't know what this, I forgot what this stuff is. I think that's the firmware date of, of um, September 19th, 1989. This stair-step pattern indicates all the ink nozzles, and there are a grand total of 50 ink nozzles on the printhead, which is built into the ink cartridge. This printer takes the 26 black ink cartridges, and it looks like all... 50 ink nozzles are working. So now we'll give it more of a real print test. Um, I'm just going to close the lid. Oh, I'll leave that open. I'm going to print a document out. Let me um, load it up on here first. Finder. Open up Microsoft Works. A little bit of an oxymoron for you anti-Microsoft people. Microsoft works. Should have loaded this, loaded this up ahead of time. So let's load something that's not too personal. Ooh, read me. There we go. Uh, yes, I'll open it as a text file. Come on. Hopefully this shows up. There it is. And it's three pages long. Perfect. So now we'll go into print. Now I think we have font substitution and HP fonts on, but this is just your print w uh, window. I think. Let me just check. Go to page setup here. Um, okay, that's correct. Go to. Uh, oh. We want that we want options. Okay, font substitution is on and HP fonts are on. It's that printer has its own built-in set of fonts. And when you turn font substitution on, it'll change fonts that the H Well anyway, it just it optimizes it's more optimized fonts, in other words, makes it print faster. Now I don't have background printing on. 
So in other words, I cannot do anything on the computer while it's printing. Um, coming. There it goes. Oh. It's done. And there you have it. The original H Hewitt Packard HP desk writer.